Hello and welcome to another Inside EVs video. In this video, we are talking about the Mercedes EQS. And I was recently invited to a pretty interesting virtual co-drive of the EQS. Now, of course, I'm not in the car. We're gonna be video chatting with someone driving around the car in Stuttgart, Germany, which is really actually kind of not a bad idea. Uh, but I did ask tons of questions. We're gonna have lots of details about the EQS in here. So it's not just gonna be driving impressions based on a video chat we're gonna have real hard info in this video as well I hope you enjoy it and I hope you're as excited as I am to one day go for a ride in the EQS in person because it really seems like an awesome EV and hi from my side as well from inside the car the EQS is something special something new we never did before in any other car um, one thing which comes, of course, in, in, into your mind um, is the hyperscreen we already presented virtually. You can, you can see all the pictures. Um, here you see the hyperscreen working in the car, actually, and it's looking even better when you see that it's coming to reality and it's not only um, some sort of a styling study. What you see here is the, those um, three screens um, beneath a... Um, very very um, large glass um, the center uh, display with even 17.7 .7, uh, inch uh, display size um, and here we're not only seeing a large display we're also thinking about something new and presenting you something new because what you see here is our so-called zero layer approach uh, we wanted to um, come away from toggling through the menus um, and have you everything using that large uh, scale display um, and everything is on that display. So you see, you see the, the, the climate um, menu, um, you see your EQ range assistant, you have your phone, you have your music which is not displayed here uh, properly and you have the whole navigation and, and that's a very cool feature um, I think, the system is learning what you do. So it's adapting your behavior. Um, if you're um, using your massage function, for example, very often it will pop up as a, a short button um, and you can really um, access what you actually like and the car wants to accommodate you here. So that's for starters. The impression of the interior. Now we're here for driving. Let's hit the road. So the EQS, as I said before, is something new and different it's, and it's not only the, the, the screen you saw uh, right here, um, we also had the very um, cool opportunity to do a vehicle and a whole vehicle architecture from scratch. So um, the what you see here is the first of a kind um, of a whole family. Um, uh, our dedicated EV platform, so-called EVA2, um, where we were able to really um, scale for wheelbase, for <coughs> sorry for that, uh, for battery size, um, and to get you what you want in the specific um, segment of of the cars. Um, the car is not only something new in the in the interior, in the platform thought. Uh, but also something new from the styling perspective. Um, you can see a little fraction um, right now also from the interior because if you have a very close look to the apular you see it's um, rooting from very very um, far at, at, at the hood even um, and the um, pillar is going into a whole bow coming from the front to the back of the car so our so-called sorry uh, so-called so um, one bow design and that design makes this EQS this is the electric interpretation of the S class make makes it look more like a coupe rather than a classical saloon car um, and so helping you uh, or, or giving you a new impression <laughs> of the whole car idea we try to, to reinvent here for the EQS. The EQS will be the best series cars in terms of uh, aerodynamics which has ever been built. With the EQS we reach 0.20 as the 
CD value, the so-called the, the wind drag coefficient. That has never been reached in any uh, serious cars um, uh, that has been built. So it's not only looking pretty, it's also helping you. And what does it especially help you for? Um, if you think about EVs, there's one thing you always think of first um, and that's of course the range of the car. We combine that world champion aerodynamics with a very um, uh, sophisticated management of low voltage and high voltage consumers. We combined ultra high efficient um, tires. Um, we have a very large scale battery. Um, we have 107.8 kilowatt hours usable energy in the battery and all that sums up to a range from the WLTP cycle of up to 770 kilometers. All the EQS are equipped with a rear motor. <clears throat> We're starting in, at 245 kilowatts um, and in combination with a front motor um, your total um, power of the car will be up to 385 kilowatts which uh, what is well above 500 horsepower. Um, so you don't have to worry about power, you also don't have to worry about torque. Um, the uh, th top uh, type I just mentioned, the uh, 385 uh, all-wheel drive um, uh, variant uh, is giving you a torque of 828 Newton meters. So it's really um, helping you to be confident to um, have the power once you need it. And you can have the power not only once. Um, our acceleration from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is for um, this uh, 385 kilowatt uh, version is 4.3 seconds from 0 to 100 kilometers per hour and you cannot do that only once. We um, really address the issue of um, uh, several accelerations in a row. Uh, we ha have a special water cooling inside the motor to keep um, the temperature in a good range. Uh, so that helps you to have those maximum accelerations um, in a row and really feeling confident about the power of the car. The EQS has as last um, item the S in its name. And for a Mercedes to deserve the S you have to address a very specific um, issue and that is comfort. The car has to be comfort in a S-class manner to deserve the S. And so what, what, what did we do to, to uh, actually have that? Um, first of all, coming from the motors, um, they are designed to be silent. Um, in addition to that, we have a, um, a double decoupled um, mounting to the rest of the chassis. We have a capsule over the um, um, whole motors, have a lot of absorbers in the whole car. We even um, put foam into the um, holes of the body in white uh, that are expanding in the surface process. Um, so really to help you have a very, very um, silent car. To not only reach a very high range, but to also reach that in silence and in quiet and to be simply relaxed. But sometimes you don't want to be relaxed or you need some sort of feedback from the car. Let me show you just one thing because we have a cool feature, so-called sound themes. Let me switch that on for you. Three different themes. We um, have here the Roaring Pulse as our starting. Um, point if, if you see in the instrument cluster a subtle supporting sound of um, the torque of the power coming from uh, the motors. You see here in the combi uh, in, the, in the instrument cluster um, the how much we, we have or are taking from the um, motor, or how much power, and that is supported by by the sound experience and um, helping you um, really to feel the car and to um, be very aware of your actual um, driving. We see that uh, as well when I regen or, or 
actually um, uh, decelerate. Um, that is also supported by sound and you can choose your um, own personal sound theme if you want and you see here or here a little bit. So the battery is a huge battery uh, 107.8 kilowatt hours of usable energy it's not the installed energy. 113 gross? We, yeah approximately it's a little bit uh, more uh, we, we uh, don't have the final number but we, we are aiming at the installed um, uh, capacity and that's the 107.8 kilowatt hours sure sure um, and we wanted to know what the battery does um, and so we decided to have the battery management system uh, developed in-house so we have a special team really working on understanding how the battery works and how to actually design the battery um, let me just try the roaring pulse one time uh, for you decelerating a little bit so you see um, the idea of the instrument cluster I hope um, and uh, now when regen uh, um, you also see that it's um, adapting in the um, instrument cluster right now we're here in Stuttgart and that, that's uh, probably I can I can use that just uh, for, for you uh, for your information the battery is built here and developed here and the car is built here so all around Stuttgart in Sindelfing we built the car on the same um, in the same factory than the brand new S-Class and uh, for the battery we um, redesigned two factories um, to actually build batteries and we, we build those batteries climate neutral um, in order to have the EQS actually and really as a, um, a sustainable uh, car uh, and not only a, a comfortable and uh, cool car. Um, the battery management system and the whole deep understanding of the battery um, helped us to very early address the, the, the main questions um, a customer has, especially when coming with S-Class demands. Um, you have the possibility to drive very, very long with that car. Um, still, if you have a really long drive, um, you might have to charge the car. And sometimes you don't want to wait uh, very long and so to not have you wait very long of course you need a high charging power power and for the EQS we have is a maximum charging power uh, 200 kilowatts that's by the way the same um, amount of power you can put in the uh, battery in, in regen mode um, but 200 kilowatts of charging leads you to having in the WLTP um, up to 300 kilometers in 15 minutes so you need to wait a quarter of an hour and you go uh, you're ready to go for another 300 kilometers which is I don't know 200 miles or something like that uh, question uh, for you about the charging uh, so the peak charging rate 200 kilowatts awesome yeah. really good number I think that that's a super great target yeah. uh, but for from from what percentage because the curve also matters so yeah. this is obviously from down low and then when does it appreciably pull off 200 kilowatts yeah. is it around 30 percent or 40 percent or how, how long does it hold we are we are address or aim at uh, between 20 and 80 so in a really very long um, window or a very large window of the um, battery of course that depends on temperature um, and stuff like that but we want to have that not only as a short peak because that's uh, only worth something on the paper, but really sure. um, to have that very constantly, and we have a very, um, we have very intensive or, or a, a sophisticated um, a thermal concept for, for the whole system to be to still be cool and to actually um, cope with this um, huge amount of power. Yeah, it's a lot. So you're saying from 20 to 80 percent, it's going to hold the, the peak 200 kilowatts. Is that something around that? Yeah. Oh, that's amazing. We have also features um, from the S class um, or components from the S class to really address um, uh, the uh, the claim of of the EQS. Um, we have um, the uh, the driving system. The, we have air um, dampers um, coming from the, the S class to really give it that, that floating and very relaxing uh, driving mode. Um, 
Also, the, the, one of my favorite um, features coming from the S-Class and uh, derived here as well is the, um, let's say, online view of the of the car, how you drive it. Uh, I mean, that's really for um, helping you uh, save money on your uh, uh, rim repairs. High as the angle of the uh, front wheel, but you are steering the um, rear wheel as well so we have the, uh, so how many how many degrees is it like 10 degrees like the s class is yes we we start with 4.5 uh, degrees and you g can get up to 10 degrees um of turning cycle and this car is huge um yeah we have 4.21 <laughs> meters of the car which is somewhere around the long s class um combining with that uh, 10 degrees rear axle stealing steering you have 10.9 meters i want to say a huge thank you to fabian for taking us for a ride in the eqs with all of these restrictions of course it's very difficult to do in-person drives but we thought it was super interesting to go for a quick tour see the man behind the eqs share his stories it was great to hear that uh you know i, I wasn't able to include it in this video but i spoke to fabian for a bit after the recording and we talked quite a bit about over the year updates battery management systems and how they're able to optimize, unlock and learn how the car performs over time and then over the air update the vehicle throughout its life cycle. We're seeing more and more automakers doing this. I think it's the correct approach. Get the hardware right, make the software usable. Uh, Mercedes is focused, at least they tell me, on a really good route planner for long distance trips. You guys know I love EV road trips. It sounds like the S-Class is gonna have one of the best route planners. I'm so looking forward to trying that out on a trip in the EQS and um, really just a, a really neat drive. We'll definitely have plenty more EQS content coming from our side, so stay tuned here on the Inside EV's US YouTube channel, and thanks for tuning in. See you on the next one.